Yo, what's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a Logitech G brand headset, the Astro A30 wireless gaming headset. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the headset, taking a look at all the components. We'll be doing a look and feel demo. We're gonna, of course, show you all the components. We're gonna show you some gameplay. We're gonna show you a little bit of audio recording just for comparison purposes so you get a feel of what it sounds like. But before we get to all that, if you have not yet already subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications, throw a like on the video, and then share it all over your social media accounts. Super appreciated on the support. And with all that, let's take a look at the A30. Now before we unbox this thing, a couple quick things on the front of the packaging. Uh, you notice at the bottom here, this says this is for the PS5. It's compatible with PS5, Xbox Series X and S. Uh, Bluetooth capability, mobile capability, Windows 10 and 11, as well as the Mac. Coming around to the back, we see a lot of information about what this device has. We've got a detachable boom arm here for your microphones, but there is also an on-ear cup microphone as well. So if you don't want to go with the boom arm, you don't have to. You can use either of them for gameplay. These little tags on the outside, customizable. You can choose from a number of tags from content creators through Logitech G, or you can get creative and create your own. We've got up to 27 hours of gameplay on a full charge. That is pretty impressive. We've also got multiple ways of connecting into your devices. There is a USB-C port. There is a three and a half millimeter audio port. We can also use the light speed transmitter here for really fast, low latency, wireless connectivity. And of course, you can use Bluetooth connectivity. Finally, right here at the bottom, there is the Logitech G mobile app that we will load onto our Android for managing the device. Now to get it open, we've got a little tab up here. We will pull in the direction it tells us to. Now we see we've opened this up to where we can slide the outside case this way. See how that works? Pretty clever packaging. We get the outside packaging off, and we can then use the front lip here to lift the box. And we've got our carrying case right up top with some of that Astro branding. Pulling the carrying case out, setting it off to the side. Clearly, our headset and components are inside the case, but we've got a little bit more documentation down here telling us how to use the device, user guide, all that good fun stuff. All right, on to the fun stuff. Let's get the headset out of its carrying case. Uh, one thing I want to say about this carrying case, you just saw me unzip it almost all the way around. So it, it opens up nice and wide. This has a cloth-like feel on the outside, but it is a hard molded case. That means you throw it in a backpack with your book bag, your books or whatever you got in there. Um, it, it's not going to get smashed. This is a very protective cover. Flipping it open, we get our first glance at the A30. Now, the A30 comes in a couple different color choices. I've got the white version here, and again, these tags right here are customizable. You can swap these out, create your own. As you can see, we've got this molded piece inside. The headset fits right around it. That means there will be no shifting and moving around and jostling of the headset during travel in its case. Pulling this little box up out of the middle, coming for a closer look here, we see we've got some of our cabling. Right here is that light speed wireless transmitter for the low latency wireless connection. We've got the detachable boom arm. Now this thing is unlike any boom arm I have ever seen. You've got that three and a half millimeter jack right there, but this is like, it's rubbery. It's, it, there's a ton of flexibility, so you can kind of put it to the position you want, the closeness you want, but it's not a rigid piece of plastic. It, the mics at the other end here are connected through a really flexible rubber uh, design. Pretty unique. Moving on to cables, we've got a one and a half meter, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack cable here for uh, wired connectivity if you don't wanna go the wireless route. And the other cable we get is a USB-C to USB-A cable for charging the headset. Again, one and a half meters in length. Pulling the headset out of its case, I'm going to just gently lift that Set it down right here for a moment, and we'll give you one final look at the inside of the case. All your components, uh, separate pieces go in this middle, hard molding, and the headset just sits right there. Close it on up. Pretty good way to carry it around. 
coming in for a closer look at the A30 headset itself. Uh, we can see we got a little bit of flexibility in the ear muffs themselves. And then we've got some flexibility up top. Uh, that is one of the things that uh, the headset boasts is that it's got just the right amount of clamping, if you will, so that you're, you're not squeezing the head too tight, uh, but you're holding it on comfortably in place. This is a closed gaming headset, so you should be uh, not having all the breathability that an open one gives, but you are keeping all the outside noise out, making a very focused, very uh, immersive experience audio-wise in your game. Coming to the back side of the ears here, we've got a power button up top for turning it on and off. We've got a Bluetooth button right down here. We've got a multi-function control button, and then we've got a uh, mute switch, mute on or off. At the very bottom, we've got our USB-C port for charging, and on this side, we've got the three and a half millimeter port for the boom mic, as well as the cable to wire ourselves back to a PC, for example, for a wired audio experience. Right up front, you've got that onboard in-mic microphone so that you can either use that or the boom arm. And coming around to the sides, again, customizable tags in the sides, uh, use existing, existing designs, use the default, create your own, lots of flexibility there. If you need a bit more uh, depth at the top of the head, this will extend out just by sliding. Uh, there is no, this is no clicking on this one. There's not a clicking mechanism. It's just a nice, smooth, but rigid slide so that it doesn't uh, slide when you don't want it to. As far as comfort and fit goes, you can see on the inside here, we've got left and right ears. This is, this is a really ample, uh, generous amount of memory foam. I have a feeling this is going to be a really comfortable wear, and that memory foam extends right up here into the headband as well. Uh, so this should be a very comfortable experience to go along with a very long-lasting battery life. Looking at the boom arm, you can see that it's got a little notch right at the top, so it fits into that, that bottom port there. You'll simply line them up, and it kind of clicks into place. And then you've got the boom microphone attached so that you've got that option for communicating rather than using the built-in microphone on the headset itself. So on to the look and feel. Let's not kid ourselves. We all know that style is a big part of our gaming experience, right? Especially if you're a streamer, if you're sharing your video experience, if you go out to competitions, you want to look good and stylish while you're kicking everybody else's butt in whatever your game of choice is. So uh, how it looks, how it feels is pretty important. Let's go ahead, take these things, we'll put them on. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room in the head here. I I don't have a huge brain up top, but I need a little bit of extra room probably. That looks like it'll be just right. Maybe I give myself too much crowd on the uh, on the brain size up here. Uh, now that we've got it on, we've got that boom mic. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little more room on the front here. Kinda had it touch my mouth. Uh, that would be the one thing that I'd point out so far about the boom mic. I love the flexibility and versatility of it. Uh, however, it doesn't seem to immediately out of the box want to stay put. It, it tends to fold in toward the mouth the way that it's shipped. And uh, it was kind of touching my lip a second ago. But I think you can kind of train that over time uh, as you as you fold it back and bend it back to, to where you want it to be. Uh, but that's the look with the boom, arc, uh, uh, the boom arm on. Got a side profile on both sides. I'll talk about comfort right now. It's very comfortable. Uh -huh. I mentioned there's an ample amount of memory foam here. Um, I, I can feel that. I mean, they, they, the, the clamping is just about right. I do not feel like it's a ton of clamping. Uh, I, I like the amount of foam that I've got up top. I might be able to, I like a lot of foam up top. I'm just different that way. So I might, I might not complain if I had a little more up there, but it's cozy. It's comfortable, especially around the ears. It's comfortable. And with a closed gaming headset where you're not getting that, that, flow through, uh, you want something that's going to offer a lot of comfort because you're already closing in the ears. But this is a very cushy, very comfortable feel. Now, as far as how it looks without the boom arm, we'll go ahead and just slide that right out. This disconnects. And there you go. If you wanted to use the built-in mic and not the boom arm, this is what that look is. Of course, the feel is the same. You just don't have a boom arm in front of your mouth. But uh, there you go. Look and feel of the Astro A30 gaming headset wireless gaming headset 
with boom arm and without. All right, so here we are in the Logitech G app. Uh, we just held the power button down on the A30 to turn it on, and then we held down the Bluetooth button for a few seconds for it to show up in our Bluetooth list on the phone. And, uh, and then we connected with it here in the Logitech G app. So we see that it's connected. Uh, your phone and your A30s are now best friends. Isn't that awesome? Let's say next there. We're going to leave that device name because I don't have anything cooler in mind, whatever. Uh, and then we can help improve by uh, sharing analytics data if we want to. We'll just say no thanks at this time, but you can do that. So our setup is now complete. Uh, we'll say continue. Uh, a couple little more things here. We can skip all this or just say next. Since we're getting set up for the first time, we'll just step through this. But uh, we can connect up to three audio sources at a single time. That's pretty cool. And then the A30 lets you kind of mix between those sources or choose between them. Uh, that's also pretty unique. Here's that multi-source mixing. So you can get audio from the USB wireless transmitter we talked about and, and unboxed. We could also use the three and a half millimeter audio cable or Bluetooth and mix them simultaneously. That's pretty awesome. Uh, then we can adjust each of those sources independently from the device if we need to. Switching modes. So we'll include the uh, we'll use the included USB wireless transmitter with console or our PC. We'll press the button to switch modes, and we see the button on the receiver right there. Volume control, we have volume control built right in. We move that joystick up or move the joystick down to decrease the volume. And then game and voice balancing. So uh, on the PC or the Xbox, we can balance the volume of our game audio or voice chat signals using the thumbstick. Again, that's that multi-control button that we saw on the bottom of the headset earmuff. It says push left to make game louder and chat softer or push right to make game softer and chat louder. This is not available for PlayStation. I'm a PC user, so awesome. And uh, and it's a really cool tool because there are many times where uh, explosions, gunfire, all that stuff, so much louder, and I have a hard time hearing my teammates. So uh, very cool functionality. Bluetooth control. We can control the Bluetooth playback with that thumbstick. We get our directions there for what that looks like. Microphone. We have the two microphones. The attachable boom mic is going to be our best option, obviously, as always, with the boom mic. Uh, the internal mic is best for our just on the go, throwing a headset on and just using it immediately. Finally, we've got our profiles and custom EQ. Uh, for the profile, it groups your presets together so for your desired use cases. And then the custom EQ allows you to tune your audio settings for uh, a desired experience. Okay, right here on the main screen, we can see that we've got uh, the center option here, our volume button. We click on that and we can turn our volume up or down. We'll leave it up at 100% for now. If we click on the button over to the left, we can see that we've got 70% battery utilization. And then we've got a uh, PC button over to the right. We're not connected to our PC, so that's not active. On the profiles, We've got our active profile for game. There's a media profile and then a custom one in there that you can set up. I'm not gonna mess with profiles, but just so you know, you can set and customize all that. Microphones. So we've got our internal mic, which is active on the headset. We do not have the boom mic plugged in right now, but on the internal mic, we've got our noise gate, which is off. We can turn it to low, medium, or high. Uh, they have suggestions in here for when you're gonna wanna do that, for instance, if you're streaming, if you're in a tournament, different settings would be suggested then. And then of course, we've got side tone down here if you want to uh, hear yourself in the headset a little bit. Sometimes it helps, right? I, if I don't hear myself very well, I can kind of talk a little louder. Not the best experience for other people. So some side tone is good. I'm gonna go ahead and on the noise gate side, I'm going to say, uh, I'm gonna say just low for in-home environments. We're not streaming with it. And the same thing over on the boom mic side. If you uh, are going to use the boom mic, you'll uh, it'll be active, but right now it shows inactive. We'll just set it to use the same settings. Equalizer, we've got some other settings to mess with there. I'm not gonna mess with that. For this video. And if we have other devices we're managing with the Logitech G app, we can click on this button in the upper left-hand corner. We can see our devices and clicking on one of them will bring us back in to manage the settings. So first demo is some audio recording through the A30. 
earlier you heard me recording through a wireless lapel mic. Actually, got it clipped to my shirt. One of these little do jabbers wirelessly transmitted back to my phone. That's what we were doing the unboxing portion of the video with. So that's what that audio experience was. Right now, we are actually looking at the desktop. I've got my video captured and I've got the A30 on, obviously, but no boom mic plugged in. So if we come down to our audio input capture source in OBS, you can see that we actually are using the A30 on here. I'm going to bring that down right there and you can see A30 for our device. So it's using the onboard in-ear cup microphone of the Astro A30. That's your demo for what it sounds like to record audio or be heard in a game uh, using the headset without the boom mic. And now clearly I have the boom mic on. It's attached. It's all the way plugged in. Uh, pulling up the audio input in OBS one more time, you can see we've got the Astro A30 selected. So same device, it's just now we're using the boom mic instead of the built-in mic. Hopefully that gives you a good sense of kind of what the difference in audio experience may be when using a boom arm mic on the A30 versus just the built-in microphone. There's your audio recording demos. Okay, my favorite part of testing out a new gaming headset, taking it for a test drive in Fortnite. Uh, so we got the Astro A30 gaming headset on, wireless connectivity to the light speed transmitter plugged in via USB-A to the laptop. We got the boom arm in, so we're gonna get the experience of the boom arm audio recording. That's what you're hearing now is my voice through this. Uh, you're capturing desktop audio as well, probably making it hard to hear what I'm saying because people are shooting up a storm. Uh, you're capturing the desktop audio, so you're hearing that. You get to hear, you know, what what the gameplay sounds like, but I'm not sure if your audio experience will be quite as rich and vibrant and crisp and clear as what I'm experiencing now. This is my first time using a closed gaming headset. We'll just say that, we'll put that out there. So, uh, whereas I've used open headsets with very good audio before, this is gonna be the first closed one. Already, it is extremely immersive. I mean, it really helps feel like you are just surrounded by the game experience. So, we're going in. Let's jump off the battle bus after we thank the bus driver. We'll find a place with a little bit of action and with any luck, I might actually get an elimination or two, maybe if I'm lucky, even more in uh, before someone mercilessly eliminates me and emotes all over my shame. take that and it was a very vivid audio battle experience man sound effects are just i mean it's a very real and true audio experience i'll give it that i'll give it that
Alright. Six people down. Five left. That's possible. Not super probable, but it's possible. good looking good I'm, I'm not sure if i can attribute it to the headset but the audio experience is certainly phenomenal uh so we'll give it that There it is. Oh. All right. Well, that uh, that was a good gaming experience, and every bit of the audio was phenomenal. So uh, I'm gonna give a big kudos to the Astro A30 and uh, and relish in my crowned victory. So there you have it, the Logitech G Astro A30 wireless gaming headset. We have demoed its use with the Lightspeed wireless USB-A transmitter plugged into the Alienware laptop, recorded audio both through the boom mic and the built-in mic on the earpiece, and uh, did a little bit of gameplay with the A30 as well. Great gaming experience. So all in all, definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Great headset. Feel free to check it out at the links provided below. Hope you found the video useful. Please throw a like on the video, share it all over social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already, and I hope we're going to see you back here for the next device overview video.